What is up everybody? We are down here in San Marcos today. Just made it down from Austin. We got here at a good time, right before the sun comes up. It's about 6.15. We're gonna be throwing some stuff out for bass. Like always, we're gonna have a line in the water for some catfish. Um, I was actually looking online at the catch records for this river and they're crazy, man. There's all sorts of stuff in this river that people have caught. People have let pet fish go. They dump fish in the river that aren't supposed to be here. So you got a really weird diversity. Not all of them are good, but it's kind of interesting to read about to read about what people have caught. I mean, people have caught like a red-bellied paku here, and that is a fish that I believe I think it's native to like South America um, there was actually a rivers river monsters episode on that fish so that's crazy that if one was caught here they get big like the size of carp but I don't know man it's interesting to read about but that definitely you know it's kind of the appeal of this river the fact that there are a large variety of fish there's the freshwater eel um, there's the paddlebill, which is cool. So, I like to always have a line in the water, man. You never know what you're gonna catch, but I've seen some big bass down here, so today we're gonna be going for bass and catfish, but I just thought I'd explain a little bit about the diversity of this river to you this morning. And um, we're gonna get going, and hopefully have some luck, enjoy. I'm excited to fish. Been working non-stop lately, so I haven't really had a chance to get out in about a week, but hopefully today's our day. Toss this entire shrimp on here. So we're gonna see what's in this deep area over here this looks like a good hole so we're gonna have a line in the water over here for some cat for some catfish or whatever else decides to to bite this morning and then we are going to fish the rest of the bank I have, in this river, if I'm using worms, I have the best luck with the Zoom Tequila Sunrise. I've caught more fish in this river than I have in any with any other worm or bait. I don't know if it's just because I've used it a lot, but me and a buddy were at the store and he's like, oh, what should I get? And I was like, man, we just got a couple different colors of worms, but these were actually proven to be really effective that day. And I've caught, fish with them since so if you can get your hands on these and you're fishing this river man I think that you'd have some pretty good luck too so the Texas rig this is a three eighth ounce tungsten weight really good for getting underneath, punching through the weeds and the wild rice in the water. I put a glass bead on there. I don't know, man, I don't know if that makes a difference, but supposedly that ticking sound kind of clacks together and fish, fish are attracted to that. Always test your knot to make sure it's tight. A 
Lots of little bait fish over here, which is a good sign. So it's important when you're fishing to cover as much water as you can. So basically think about it as a clock. You kind of want to start at 10, then go 11, then go 12, then go one, then... So that way you're really covering a wide range and you're really able to kind of search for those fish effectively. So this seems kind of like a good spot right here. They're up in, they're up in these shallow areas hitting all the bait fish. Coon. Hey buddy. Just cruising. Got one. Damn. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Already? Wow. Look at this bass. Look at this bass. Man. Four pounder. We're gonna let this one go. This is the bass I've been going for, man. fish totally smashed on that on this worm man been here for a while man we got that really nice bass um, we're gonna head down river and just keep moving this spot really hasn't produced anything else as far as bites so I'm just gonna keep rolling man we're gonna go down river probably two miles see this park down there i haven't been to it so i'm kind of interested to see how it is so yeah we're gonna roll over there man second park second place that we're at um, interested to see what's swimming around in here who knows man I'm honestly I'm pretty happy with the day so far that's the I think the biggest bass that I've caught in the San Marcos River
likes, subscribes. Um, if there's anything I could be doing differently, let me know if there's something you want me to try to fish for or try to do. If y'all need tips or pointers, just comment. Um, it's all, you know, y'all are welcome to ask questions. Um, but I just want to say thank y'all for following and stay tuned. Hope y'all are enjoying the channel. It's going to get better. It's going to get bigger. The summer's going to be good. Enjoy.